Welcome everyone to yet another um, release team meeting for the Kubernetes 118 cycle. My name is Jorge. I will be your host for today's meeting. Thank you everyone for joining in. And before we get started, I have to mention that the, that, uh, the Kubernetes community has a code of conduct, which essentially boils down to please be nice to each other at all times. Before we get into the meeting, if anyone will be kind enough to serve as a note taker for this session, please put uh, please put your name down in the notes. Like always, if, uh, like always at the end of this meeting, I'll make sure to go through the document again, curate it, make sure that all the information that anyone might need to do their job is here in some way, in one way or another, so we can have a remote first medium for uh, for communication. And with that, I'll end my public service announcements and leave and pass it on to enhancements. Kirsten, are you on? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm Kirsten, I'm an enhancement shadow and I'm just gonna give our quick update. Um, Basically, we are red right now. Um, Code freeze is on the fifth, and we're basically going through and pinging all of our at-risk enhancements um, to make sure that they get all of their PRs merged by the deadline. Um, some of them are on track and some of them aren't, so we're pretty much uh, alert and watching all of the PRs that are going in and updating the uh, tracking sheet as quickly as we can. Um, we do have we do have two um, enhancements that were removed for missing the docs placeholder deadline. One of them, um, one of them basically had a little bit of a problem because they didn't respond by the by the docs deadline. Um, so we dropped them, and then they kind of said that they don't need other docs because they're covered by you know another set of docs. So we're going to add that one back. Um, and then there's also like an interesting question that we've been uh, talking about internally on the enhancements team where um, there are sometimes we come across enhancements that don't really seem to fit the um, Kubernetes Kubernetes enhancement, but they want to be tracked. Like, for example, there's enhancement um, 1432, which is basically not in the repo. And they also indicated that they wouldn't necessarily be following um, all of the uh, deadlines for Kubernetes uh, enhancements, but you know, when we remove the, um, when we remove, remove them from the milestone and tracking, because to us, it didn't necessarily seem like this was a proper um, Kubernetes enhancement since it's out of repo anyway, um, they wanted to be a part of it. So I think one of the questions that we're having is, what do we do with these non uh, KK enhancements that want to be tracked? Do we still track them just because the person wants to track them? Is there, you know, going forward, maybe in the next release, is there a way that we can track those a little bit better? Or do we just leave them as Kubernetes, Kubernetes enhancements um, because they, they want them? So any thoughts that anyone could have about that, either now or later, would be great. That is super interesting. I can see why tracking and uh, tracking and Tracking this might be useful. Uh, does anyone have any comments, questions uh, to that end at this very moment that you want to voice out? I think not, for the last few releases, we've said it's worth tracking them. What is unclear to me is whether they're bound to the same mm -hmm. process. So, exactly. yeah, you know. yeah, I think that's exactly our question because on one hand, if you want to be tracked, then we're kind of going to hold you to all of the deadlines and um, mechanics that a regular enhancement is held to. But like, if you want to be tracked, but then not fully participate in that, then it also makes it a little harder for enhancement people to keep track of them because it's like, then you'll have all of these exceptions, which perhaps can be on a different page of, of the spreadsheet, of course, you know, but putting them in that list with all the other ones, um, it's kind of, hard to figure out what to do with those. Yeah, I would say, I think the logical, given what you said, is that they're going all in on the process, because I think when we've spoken about this before, 
the main motivation to have them tracked as part of this process is so that they could be mentioned as part of the release mm -hmm. um, as a as a whole. So I think, yeah, and it's probably easier to go all or nothing. So if you want to be tracked and you want to be part of the release train, meaning you can have access to the blogs and be part of the release notes, then you have to go all in with the docs and the code freeze and everything that comes with it. Otherwise, you're not part of that process, I guess would be my stance. In general, uh, in, in general, uh, I, and again, this doesn't, uh, this doesn't have any, uh, this doesn't have any weight given that I'm just saying this at this very moment, but that, uh, that also does make sense. A uh, super random question. If they were part, uh, if they were, if this was, if this was a strictly a Kubernetes enhancement, uh, are they right now meeting all the deadlines, uh, PRs, uh, gold freeze and the like? Well, they said that their docs would be in their own docs repo, um, so there wouldn't really be Kubernetes docs. And then someone also explicitly said that they don't really need to file, follow the timeline. So while there's a PR, like I don't really know if they're going to meet the deadline or not. Um, the docs won't be in the Kubernetes repo, so it's kind of on the fence for that. I don't know. Like I think it kind of come down to whether or not everything is going to be finished by Thursday, and if it's not, if they're going to wait on it until, you know, 1.19 and, and kind of stay with the cadence of the releases, which I'm really not sure of. Yeah. Super cool. I think, super, super cool. Um, I think we should leave them for now and see where they are with code freeze. They, I think, have work going on out of tree and we can track that stuff down and figure it out. Um, but I think we should make more clarity around this for the next release. We should definitely add this to the um, retrospective and figure out a do we wh what do we want to do in terms of um, like the handbook and explicitly saying how we want to handle these, but also maybe uh, feed into the kind of ongoing work that's happening with caps. Um, like, does it make sense for this to be a cap in Kubernetes Kubernetes because it's not truly in Kubernetes Kubernetes? It's an out of tree thing. Yeah, that makes should sense. It be, should it be tracked and should like the cap process be slightly different for those things? Yeah, that makes sense. So to, uh, to, that, uh, to that end, I just want to uh, repeat this part. Uh, Kirsten or Jeremy or enhancements in general, could someone add an item for this in the retrospective? I think this will be a really good topic to cover. Sure. Thank you. Other than that, does anyone have any more comments, questions, suggestions regarding enhancements? Going once. Actually, a super quick question. Yep. I'm looking at the remove for missing docs placeholder hold, deadline. Mm -hmm. um, issue 770 uh, has a couple asterisks. What does that mean? Oh, that was just to flag it for discussion. Ah, okay. 770. So basically what happened with 770, as Kirsten mentioned, is uh, they never responded by the cutoff. Mm -hmm. So um, Vinith and I dropped them from the release today. And then uh, they said, oh, wait, this is covered by the docs for 603. Uh, they're behind the same feature flag. We don't need to have separate PRs for this. Here's the link to the website, to the PR, um, to K slash website. So like they didn't, that PR has been open before the deadline, so we're adding them back. Uh, just added the asterisk, because we didn't have time to do it before the release meeting. So the, the numbers all reflect, like, that one's going to go back into the release. Mm, OK, sweet. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, does anyone have any other comments, questions, suggestions? Going once, twice. Thank you so much, enhancements. Nico, please take it over. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. Okay, so our current status is, I can say, yellow, but uh, we have a lot of potential to go green this week. So <clears throat> let's start in master blocking. Uh, there are two jobs that are failing. 
skew class related skew serial uh, uh, this is uh, this is failing uh, as well previous in the previous week and uh, we don't have any response from CLI team as well. I pinged them earlier today and uh, I will try to uh, to push them to fix it because uh, this is critical and uh, this is Cosmaster Alpha features uh, this is actually uh, starting failing a couple of days ago and uh, there was a quick fix and uh, this is currently in the merge pool so hopefully uh, the fix will work and so uh, we're going to monitoring this uh, later and see if, if it's actually fixed or not. Uh, master informing, we have these two windows jobs that are failing. Uh, there is a potential fix uh, in uh, for both of them because they have uh, both of failing for the same reason and uh, only the GC Windows 2019 master is failing uh, because of another CLI error. Uh, I have pinged them as well uh, earlier today but no response. I'll try to push them uh, as well. Uh, build package steps is uh, this is still failing but uh, we uh, changed the priority to important soon. Uh, I left the comment. This is the same exactly like uh, previous week. Uh, release misc just uh, five flake jobs uh, reported from uh, from test grid. Um, one point eight in blocking. Uh, only one job. The skew class related which is like uh, the same reason why it's failing. Uh, the, the other one in the master blocking. Uh, we are still waiting uh, for, for response from the CLI team as well. And the 1.18 informing, uh, the same two windows jobs that are uh, I, I referred before, in the same as master informing as well. Uh, also, I put uh, as well the flake jobs that uh, I'm tracking down. Uh, they, are, they are actually the same from previous week as well, but I can just uh, tell uh, um, some more details. Uh, there are in the pull Kubernetes to etc. There are two uh, six storage cases that are uh, that are similar to be flake and uh, those are other investigation and there is a one six CLI uh, flake that uh, this is actually um, the fix actually is merged and uh, the job seems that it's not uh, uh, going to flake so I'm going to uh, keep monitoring and uh, uh, um, if the job is okay, I will close the issue, so nothing to worry about it. Uh, pull Kubernetes verify, another uh, flake job that started investigation. And uh, the cube mark to EGC big, which is like, uh, should be fixed in uh, one of the PRs, which uh, right now it's merged, but um, um, I'm, I'm going to keep observing this job as well. and. Uh, Make sure that it's not like and close this as well. And uh, finally, I, I I put another uh, issue down here in the misclick test, which uh, uh, there are many many different test cases that are are uh, are flaky, and uh, we keep tracking them in this issue. So this is under investigation as well. Uh, any questions? Just uh, just to double check what's on the notes. Um, the cube kernel skew job, there has been no response whatsoever, right? Yeah, no response. Yeah, uh, not even in Slack or any other meeting. No Slack, no uh, nothing. Yeah. Uh, I I I tried to pick the merrier uh, mm -hmm. as well. It's like uh, I think I it's like the second time I pinged them, but no response. I. I think that we have to try to push them, right, for that run. Uh, we don't get uh, much of a response from CLI team lately, so this is bad. I think that uh, we need to speak with some of them and make sure that uh, they try to keep up with us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, that sounds that's good to know, and thank you for all the work. Uh, does anyone have any more comments, questions, suggestions for CI Signal? Going once, twice, 
again. Thank you, Nico. And you quick, note, uh, quick note, because I just saw this on the, co uh, on the comments. The, there is a link to the retrospective at the top of the, at the, top of the page now. Uh, thank you for uh, thank you for pointing that out. Uh, next up, Bob Triash, Marky. Hello. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. In between that, uh, Bob Triash is currently red. We are drawing down, so we hope that will change this week. For open non-test flakes, we are down twelve to thirteen. For priority critical, we are remaining steady at two. For priority important soon, we are down, we are at five, which is down seven. For open KK PRs, we are at 28, which is down six. Priority critical urgent PRs, we are zero, and that's down one. Priority important soon is 18, that is down four. For all open KK, we are at 32, which is down 11. I do have two notes. That is, we are uh, actively monitoring two issues for critical urgent, and we are on top of those. That is 652.00 and 862.67. I did link in the notes to those PRs. And my final note is uh, we are, the bug triage team is in a mad push before code freeze to make sure we can get everybody to get their work done or possibly move it out of this milestone. That is all for bug triage, unless you have any questions. Thank you, Marky. Does anyone have any questions, comments? Going once, twice. Thank you so much, Marky. And Bok Triashtin. Next up, Docs. Savita. Hi, hello everyone. Uh, Savita here. The overall uh, status of Docs is green. Uh, we had like three announcements that didn't have placeholder PRs and we got, uh, we heard back from two and that's been updated and tracked. Like Kristen mentioned, the one that didn't have the uh, placeholder PR has been removed from the milestone. Uh, the team is working towards the next milestone uh, that is getting all the uh, docs uh, ready for review. Um, that, that's it from the docs team. Any questions? Sounds like the audience doesn't have any questions. Actually, one, uh, one I was question. I was just wondering if, <laughs> if yeah, anyone no. was able to hear or not, that it's like pin drop silence, and I'm like, I was about to type. Uh... <laughs> it's all good. Uh, one, uh, one quick question that comes to mind. Uh, it's strict, not, not super uh, release related, but uh, just out of curiosity. I. So mm -hmm. in Slack, the Jim, uh, Jim Angel from Sick Docs is working with the really uh, with the release engineering people on the KRL fast forwarding for Docs. How plugged in is the Docs team with that work? So when it, I think when it uh, is uh, is in sync with uh, he talks to Jim regarding these stuff and uh, there uh, there is a planned session that's going to come up to uh, elaborate on the process of doing branch sync and using the tool if it's ready. Mm -hmm. uh, the okay. call that I have, uh, but I could uh, circle back and ask Vinit and then I could provide an update. Uh, no, that's uh, that's good, but uh, it's more of uh, out of curiosity. Uh, but other than that, Anyone, uh, anyone has any other questions, comments, suggestions? Going once, twice. Thank you so much, Savita and Doc's team, for your update. Next up, release notes. Ray. Hello. So the current status of release notes, it's green. The PRs for uh, 118 beta 1 have merged for the patch and for the draft. And I put the links to those PRs in the notes or in the Google Doc. And that's it for me. Any questions or comments?
All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Ray. Next up, Karen Gobbs. Hello. Um, we're, I would say, green at this point. We're mostly kind of in the same space where we're still waiting for um, some updates from SIGs, but it is just one SIG that we're waiting for now. And um, we are going through the enhancements list to see um, which enhancements are relevant to that specific SIG. Um, so, like I said, there's just one more thing we're trying to get updates from, and we will vote on topic six this week. And once we do that, we will um, reconnect with CNCF on the topics and figure out our PR timeline um, for the release. That's it. Any questions? One quick comment. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole uh, the whole discussion about. So, uh, so just to recapitulate for the uh, for uh, for everyone here, uh, some six uh, are overloaded and chairs are not very uh, are not very responsive. So, uh, in some cases, it is it takes time to get uh, to get a response. In some other cases, uh, we did uh, we didn't get a response. And one of the uh, one of the things, and please correct me, Karen. If I'm uh, if I'm say, uh, if I'm lying or saying uh, or, or telling the story half uh, halfway, but one of the uh, one of the I guess things uh, that have been done a little bit differently is that for those six that don't uh, reply, the communi uh, the communications team uh, just starts uh, looking at the enhancement sheet and looking at uh, looking at the work that is being tracked for the given seek. So every single discussion and issue that came uh, that came around that could you please add a, a add a note on it on the retrospective oh sure yes i will please anything uh, anything that you think is interesting worthwhile or just uh, good to know uh, will be super useful will do thank you so much does anyone have any other comments questions suggestions go once twice thank you Karen. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. And next up, release branch. Hello, uh, my name is Carlos. I'm part of the release branch team. And the status for this week is we are doing the branch fast forward uh, daily, almost daily. That's one, two days that I forgot, but then I, I did the next day. And uh, we have code freeze scheduled for this Thursday, but uh, also, I think uh, George will mention again as well in the end of the meeting. And so far, we are great as well. Awesome, thank you. Okay. Uh, everything that you just said, could you please add it in the notes at some point, Carlos? It's already there. Uh, week nine, I don't see anything. Oh, maybe I put in the wrong one. Yeah, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, thank you. So, uh, thank you so much. But other than that, does anyone have any comments, questions, suggestions? Going once. Going twice. Sold. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Um, next stop, Emery to sleep. Thanks, George. Hello, release team. Emeritus advisor here, Lockie. Um, one item for me on the update. So there is the mid-release shadow survey. I'm closing that up at the end of this week, which is March 6th. Currently, we have a 34% complete, completion rate across all shadows. If you're a shadow, we would love, love, love you to do this survey. And it means you will not have to do another meeting if you do this survey. Um, so we're trying to gather feedback on how useful people think the um, shadow program is, and this helps us guide changes we wanna to make to the shadow program. So it's a very short survey. It should take you no more than five minutes to complete, but the feedback is really valuable and we are looking at it and we will take it into account for subsequent release teams. So I would really appreciate it. Everybody could get that up and running. And the leads that are on the call, please ping your shadows too, if they're not on this call today and cannot make it. Just to remind them, I've put the link in there to make it super easy, um, but I'm looking to get as close as I can to 100% completion rate. Thank you, George, back to you. Thank you so much, Lucky. Uh, does anyone have any comments, questions, suggestions? 
going once, twice. Thank you so much, Lucky. And going uh, going back to my update. So couple a uh, house a uh, a couple a couple things that I have to mention. Cold freeze. Uh, we have that set up for this uh, for this Thursday. So expect the rest of uh, the rest of the week to be a bunch of messages about the uh, PR uh, about the uh, about the typo. There's uh, there's probably gonna be a huge backup. And hopefully, uh, six get all their PRs uh, at least uh, at least waiting to be merged. Other than that, uh, the doc deadline PRs ready for review. That's going to be uh, that's uh, that's going to be next Monday, and the next uh, upcoming milestone is uh, next Tuesday. We are planning to have a one eighteen beta two re uh, released. And those, uh, those are uh, those are the three big events that we uh, that we have to uh, that, uh, that we have to keep in mind. Other than that, uh, since we are getting to the last uh, to the last stretch of the uh, of the release, I want to take this time to uh, I I I, met, I mentioned, uh, mentioned that uh, near the beginning of the call, but I want to uh, but I want to say it again. If there is anything interesting that you've seen thus far. To, uh, Throughout this release cycle, if there is anything that you learned, anything that you thought was uh, was funny in any uh, in any way whatsoever, please add it to the uh, to the release retrospective. There is a link for the release retrospective in the 118 readme in the SIG release in the SIG release repo. There is a link at the top of the mini notes, and I'm going to start adding a link to it uh, in my update. So release lead update and also in the open discussion. Again, anything that you think is interesting, uh, uh, anything, uh, anything that you learn, please add it in there. We, uh, we want to make sure that uh, all those things are captured in one way or another and we, uh, so that we can share all the knowledge uh, that's possible with the, uh, with, the next, uh, uh, with, an, uh, with the next version of the release team. And if you want to give a shout out to anyone for doing an amazing job, uh, that's also a good. Uh, that's also a good place to do it. And I'm gonna stop for people to give me comments, questions, suggestions on any uh, on anything related to retros uh, retrospective, cold freeze, talks, betas, or the release team in general. I hear silence, and. Moving on, uh, moving on to the next uh, to the next topic, which is a six scalability update. There's nothing to report, which is good. And again, does anyone have any comments, questions, suggestions for six scalability? Okay, moving on to the next topic, uh, open discussion. And as I just mentioned, there is another link to the uh, to the retro. Uh, really, please uh, drop anything that you think might be worthwhile to share with future generations of SIG uh, release contributors. But other than that, is there anything that anyone wants to bring up for open discussion? If not, we can go ahead and walk the board really quickly to finish up uh, to finish up today uh, today's meeting and let me set up my thing to start sharing screen okay so can I, uh, can everyone see my screen yeah okay sweet thank you very much moving uh, moving on to the dashboard let me refresh this thing and let's start with review in progress so first off we have a couple of prs that i submitted last week ensure that release team lead organizes the retrospective and document release team mailing list membership criteria i believe there are a couple a couple of comments that i still have to go through but if anyone is interested in reviewing uh, please feel free to drop by in progress we have 117 stock 
uh, which I believe that is a work in progress that is being worked out somewhere in the CNCF. Investigate the automation to facilitate tracking, sp uh, tracking spreadsheets, proposal halo process, and add information about what qualifies for a milestone. Let's see what's in this one. So investigate automation to facilitate tracking spreadsheets. Uh, the last comment was by myself asking people to, uh, to take a look at this. And again, please do. Uh, even, if, uh, even if you think that there is no benefit whatsoever to a tracking spreadsheet, uh, I, guess a, uh, I guess a comment is useful, uh, is useful signal to see areas that might benefit from this. Proposal, Halo Halo process. Mm, lucky. Any updates? No, I still plan to work on it. Good. Um, add information about what qualifies for a milestone. Let's see. Taylor, are you on? Uh, are you in the line? Mm. He, he tried. He had some network issues. I saw that. Uh, awesome, but awesome. Thank you for double checking. Uh, Marky, is this? Uh, are you still working on the review with Taylor? I gave him the initial draft for what he had, so it's now with him. Okay, sweet. So, let. So that sounds like it's still in progress. Let's see. Next up. Tracking, uh, okay, so next one is track enhancement sleep across multiple releases. We're still in 118, so we are in the process of acquiring data. Next stop, document reason for inclusion of release blocking jobs. Uh, this, is still a work, uh, this is still a work in progress, and I have a document open for it. And let me just double check that there are no newer comments. And indeed, no new comments, so work in progress. At Kubernetes yearly support period cap. If anyone is, uh, if anyone on the call is interested, uh, please feel free to drop uh, your thoughts on this cap. And the next couple items: one seventeen and one sixteen release uh, release action items. And for the most part, we still have to do a a good chunk of cleanup of these issues and op uh, open up more issues and clean up the existing ones. Hoping to spend a good portion of this week working on it. Ensure that release team lead handbook includes item for adding the release retrospective to the release calendar and document the Kubernetes released in Google Groups membership criteria. These two issues are related to the PRs that I have open and in progress. Update release team handbook. I believe the, the last issue that we have open is assigned to, uh, this is not it. Uh, what's the last issue? I think it's with docs. Yeah, improved doc release handbook. And I got a couple thumbs up from the docs team, but no other comment. Is there anyone from Docs in the line? I'm here. Do you know the state? You know the state? <laughs> no, uh, I was looking into it the last time, but I will reach out to Vinit and Damani and uh, see what has to be done. If it's updating, I, I actually don't understand what they were trying to um, do in the first place. Um, because I haven't uh, had a chance to um, go over the branches and stuff like that, but um, um, I could I could take point on this. Please, please. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. If you can you bring can bring it for discussion with the question with it. My Lord. Sure. If you want to, if you take point on it, you want to sign you. Do you want to sign you? Sure. Okay, sweet. Okay, sweet. What's your? Thanks, Jorge. What's your? Is it's it, a, yeah. Is it, okay, yeah. Fine. that's me. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
so that's that. Okay, so update handbooks, release team selection doc, and block on synthetic clusters. Let's see what's in here. So update release team selection block. Uh, this one is assigned to Lucky, and the latest comment says uh, <laughs> I'll work on this. So I'll try to work on this this week, uh, unless anyone else wants to help out. And next issue, block releases on non-synthetic uh, non clusters. I believe uh, we are still waiting for a job to be finished. And oh, actually, let's, I don't remember the comments. So uh, we have enabled the CPO migration test on multi node clusters. Deploy using QADM job name, cloud provider. Mm. Actually, I guess I, for, uh, I forgot to look. Uh, I forgot to look into this. This more or less looks like the thing that we uh, looks like the thing that we wanted. So if this test is working, we may just need to add it to the master informing dashboard to have uh, to have the signal in there. But that's good to know. We'll follow. Uh, we'll follow up on that one. And to do. Try splitting, release, sketch a lot of release, leave playbook. Adolfo, I think you wanted to take one on this one? Yeah, I sent a proposal on the new format on how we could split the, um, the schedule. Mm, the awesome. So it's just a proposal at least. Mm -hmm. You can click Sweet. on two, I think, and uh, there's there's more in there. Looks good. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, I'll look more into it after the uh, after this call, and I'll you know uh, we can chat more about uh, more more about this later. And also, if anyone is interested, uh, if any of uh, in any of I have to, uh, I don't think I mentioned this explicitly, but if any of these issues are interested to any of you in. Uh, for uh, for one reason or another, please feel free to uh, to drop uh, to drop by and review, add your uh, add your thoughts, comments on it. Uh, even for example, uh, these things, you know, it is related to the release lead handbook. But if you have any ideas, uh, please feel free to tell us. And thank you, Lofo. So to do okay, so this one is definitely in progress now. A single listing project. Let's see. I just want to double check right now if there are any more. Oh, Sasha added something. Let's see. I like the idea of having a tracking issue for status updates. This will also help us search for uh, information in GitHub rather than Google Docs. I still think that we need room for open discussion and other topics than just status reports. For that, I will stick to video call once a week should be fine in my point of view but maybe on alternating times and, uh, sounds good uh, but i don't want to comment too much uh, i'm hoping that people from other time zones are going to voice out their opinions and around any of the proposals that have, uh, that have been thrown in here uh, also, uh, leads, and actually for uh, for anyone on the call, uh, on the call, uh, please uh, from uh, please mention this issue to uh, to your team. Uh, sh uh, shadows, leads. If you have any preference on any of the proposals that have uh, that have been drawn uh, recently, please drop your message or at least an emoji with a thumbs up or thumbs down. And information is uh, useful. Uh, the next issue, improve doc release handbook. That one is the uh, one that we just mentioned, I believe. Yes. And the last one, upload release notes, JSON. Are there any updates on this? Uh, okay. yeah. We're still waiting on final decision on that one to see if we're going to, to see if we're going to, to go uh, 
to, to export the release notes into the bucket or or still use the, the old method of just dumping it to the PR and so on. But I think Stephen was going to decide if we get the bucket or not. Okay, awesome. Stephen was noodling on it. I think it was his term. Yeah, there we go. Mm, I see. So this one is on Stephen right now, right? I think we need to chase it up. Uh, I don't think we've chased it up particularly recently. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. Thank you. And that is our to do. Let's go to backlog. Create a, cre uh, okay, so create shadow in retrospective. A, if, any, a, if anyone is interested in any a, in a proposal for the sh whole shadowing process, uh, please take a look at this one. There are some comments, but right now the plan is to wait for the results from the shadow survey to see how we want to proceed with that. Handling exceptions, YAML files. Let's see if there are any updates. October 28th. Okay, so that's gonna be frozen still. Create a shadowing template for all handbooks. And code freeze. Okay, so create a shadowing template for all handbooks. What's the latest coming? Uh, also wait on the shadow so uh, the result from the shadow survey the skin for code freeze the proposal still up but i guess we're just gonna keep this one open for the time being yeah let's keep that open actually i was uh, about to base on that in uh, the sick testing meeting but uh, i wasn't able to attend in, the, in their previous meeting so i'm planning to uh, to discuss the, that with them in the next one Okay, awesome. Um, so we can we can just uh, move it to to do all in progress or whatever. I think. Um, if you have anything specific that you want to draw around with SIG testing, uh, could you please uh, add in the issue and uh, and 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 discuss uh, discuss it with people? At this very moment, the contents of the issue are things that I and some other people uh, discussed with uh, discussed with sick testing in the past. So, uh, so at least right uh, right now, it has the summary of a uh, summary of our conversation, and essentially the convers uh, the conversation was done at this very moment with the proposal that uh, with the proposal that we do. It wasn't very useful, and the proposal was just a complete freeze of. Uh, Testing for which uh, which I uh, I believe, but if you have anything uh, anything specific, please add uh, please add in the issue, and then we can uh, move a uh, we uh, we can move for uh, we can move forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I will I will definitely do it. Actually, it's like um, right now the situation is that uh, uh, they agree and disagree at the same time because they they can. Um, do a part of, of the freeze because they can. They want to split uh, specific parts of their um, development and uh, contribution in the test infra where they can just block uh, uh, Kubernetes or they can just follow the freeze or not. So they, it's like more complicated than we, uh, we thought. So we definitely need to discuss that one in their meeting as well because I was in touch with them, right? So I will update the, uh, the issue and uh, let you everybody know, okay? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, thank you so much. Next up, scalability test. Uh, come and follow up on this one. And that is actually the only comment that I can uh, that I can give at this moment. Uh, the topics of discussion are just updates on the fact that every single thing that we run is on Google own infrastructure. So we kind of need a uh, we kind of need to actually create a roadmap or moving uh, end to end jobs off uh, onto CNCF own uh, projects. So scalability, 118 shadow applications feedback. Let's see if there are any comments. And let's see if there are any comments on the Meritus Advisor mini notes. The other one, increased Kubernetes support window to one year. If anyone on the call is interested in this topic, please drop by, keep uh, provide some feedback. 
And let's see this really quick. Any new comments? Nothing. And emeritus advisor meeting notes and AIs. Mm, no grand comment. And I'm thinking that this is a work uh, Blackie has this figured out. And the next couple topics, decide on procedure for job centering. Ah, uh, this one we put on hold to see what comes out of the uh, CA signal to project. And the last one is just my issue for having access to, uh, to release lead things. So I guess we are all done. Uh, is there any uh, is there anything that anyone wants to bring up at this point? An issue, discussion, topic. Going once, twice. Okay, awesome. So with that, uh, let's call it a day, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for joining uh, this call, and thank you very much for the work that everyone and uh, every single one of you does to make one eighteen happen and. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Hope you all have a good rest of your day. Have a good day, all. Evening. Bye, guys. Thank you. Good evening.